There he is. There he goes. He takes off. Good job. Okay, good. What happened there? Somebody had a wreck over there. Yeah, who is it? I like one of our guys. <laughs> That's not one of your guys. I guarantee it's not one of your guys. Sure, we try to replicate uh, the worst case situ situation in here where perhaps they have an accident. We'd rather have the accident in here, damage the equipment in here, than go out into the real world and damage the equipment for the Tennessee DOT equipment. Be careful, you know, just don't outdo yourself. But it's a great environment where they can train. There's no snow, snow on the ground right now, but they're able to sit in the seat now and start, uh, start plowing snow. You haven't seen Terry in a while. Terry's been out running around, and there comes Terry around the corner. Ooh. Good. Good use of signal. Hey, I'm a, my name's Michael Webb. I'm a storekeeper at District 39 in Belfast. This past year, or this past winter, was the first time I've driven. You've got to play the Good Samaritan. You've got to get out and help them. If, if it's life or limb, you got to get out and help them, right? Being in a truck, you have to really pay attention because, you know, you pay attention in here, but actually out there on the road, it's a whole lot different. If, if you're plowing and there's kids out throwing a football, or something in the yard and there's snow and the football comes in the road. You know, you gotta look at that spec. What are you gonna do? What do you know about the all the sand in the back of the truck? What type of traction is it gonna have uh, on the road? You know, have better traction, more weight. It's gonna have good traction, right? But so now we put you in suburbia. Don't know if you have the opportunity to plow this uh, year in suburbia, but what type of hazards do you automatically see out there? Some kind of, uh, you got hazards barriers up here. I'm Bert Dietikar. I work at a construction office in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Continue to scan left and right, far and near, high and low, looking for additional hazards out there. It's pretty pretty realistic. Well, you feel it and uh, the vis visibility is similar. You know you're not going to have a wreck, you know, like when, when you're practicing in the, uh, the real deal. You know, these guys working on the interstate, you know, we've got guys that run I-65. I mean, cars coming, flying around them, you know, things like that. So, you know, you just have to be careful. 